everybody it's Doreen and I'm back today with um, some Christmas cards that I made for my embroidery club um, I've mentioned this before that I now have a, an embroidery machine and every month we meet once a month to just get together and show some projects that we worked on and each meeting we're given an assignment to try and make something using our embroidery machine and they tell us what we should be making and then we come back the next month and show what we did so we're going to have a little potluck um, Christmas party and I wanted to make something for the women that work at the sewing machine store where I purchased my machine because they're the ones that have the embroidery club meeting once a month and we they have it actually two times in the same day so they make it convenient for those of us who have to work so there's an evening um, club night and then there's a afternoon club night so I wanted to make something for the women that work at the store and then we also had to do a secret Santa gift so I'm gonna show the gifts that I made later in the video but I want to show the cards now I didn't use the silhouette to do the front of my cards I did use actually my embroidery machine to do my cards and I think um, year before last I showed some of the cards that I made using my embroidery machine I did use a silhouette for my inside sentiment and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a silhouette Christmas series this year I'm just still in a lot of pain with my hand and arm so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get started I've been rambling enough so let me go ahead and show you the first card so this is my first card and I did as I said I used the embroidery machine to do this part of the card and then I used some chalk pencils and colored part of the card in and I did some inking here on the side I believe I used the Tim Holtz Distress ink this was the fire brick red no festive berries I'm sorry festive berries and then what I did was I went ahead and added some little embellishments that I purchased at Michael's a while ago and then of course you know I had to add my bling in there so that's the first card and to cover up the embroidery so that you don't see what it looks like on the inside I went ahead and took some cardstock or um, paper and covered up so you couldn't see the embroidery stitches that were on the other side this side of the card and then here is my inside sentiment that I put in and I cut this using the silhouette and I did the print and cut and then this piece of paper here is just there because it's covering up my last name so I've kind of done the inside sentiment the same for everybody it just says wishing you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and I signed it with my name so that's what that one looks like so that's my first card and then my next card looks like this and I went ahead once again and did this using the embroidery machine all of the stitching is done here and then I colored it in using some um, chalk and some of my Specca um, Copic markers and then I've added some embellishments and then of course I had to put a little bling there and then I also distressed it using the Tim Holtz distress ink and this one is the forest green I'm not sure what color this is I just pulled one out and grabbed it and used it so for the inside I've just gone ahead to cover up my stitching and use some Christmas cards stock and this is actually paper it's not um, card stock and put that in and then I decided to put it on this side too I've done that for all of the inside of the cards kinda wanted to make it just a little different in the inside and here's my print and cut sent inside sentiment so that's that card so now here is my next one and once again I did use my um, embroidery machine 
I'm just going to stop saying that because all of these are done with the embroidery machine. And this is the stitching that goes all the way around and into the hair. And I use my chalks to color in her hair and the face and arms and so forth. And then I've gone ahead and added some embellishments here on the side. And then I went ahead and used some stickles right here and on the pom-pom for the Santa hat and across the brim of the Santa hat. So that is that one. Oh, and in the inside, I went ahead and used some more Christmas paper and put that in the inside. And I used my print and cut with the silhouette to do my inside sentiment. Now this is an actual um, silhouette file, this right here. And if I remember, I'll put the number up here somewhere in the video in case you're interested in what I use to do the print and cut with. So that is that one. And then my next one is, once again, it's um, the lady. And I didn't color her hair in this time. I decided to leave it like it was because I kind of wanted it to make it look like she had white hair with streaks of gray or black. And then I used some stickles to color in her lips and the stickles to color in the candy cane and also the ribbon along here on the side. And then I put some bling on her shoes and I used some stickles for the Christmas ball and I put a little embellishment gift right here. And then I put another sticker embellishment, um, Noel, and then I added a bow right here and I don't know if the camera is going to pick that Noel up but it's green and silver so that's that one and then for my inside I just went ahead and took some more um, Christmas paper and put that inside and I put my print and cut from the silhouette label in here with my sentiment and I also noticed here we got some glue along here so I'm going to take my um, I forgot what this thing is called but it's great for getting rid of uh, tape where you don't want it so that is that one and then my last one is this one and I went ahead and if I didn't say on this one I once again use the chalk to color this in. I didn't use the Copics because I'm really not really good with Copic markers. So and I hadn't used my chalk chalks in a while and I wanted to try and use those to do the coloring in. So I also used it on this one and I've added some stickles here along the outside of the bulb and she's drinking a martini so I used some stickles to color in the inside glass of the, mart um, the martini glass and then I colored in the olive using my chalks again and then for her hair I just colored her hair brown and the black lines are the stitching that the card does and I colored in her lips and I believe I used the Copic um, Spectra markers to do that and then I've added some bling here for the stars in her hair. And then I've just added Happy Holidays and a berry embellishment along here on the side. And then, of course, I've added a bow here. And then, when you open this out, I kind of had her foot going over a little bit along there. Like she's really stretched out and had a little bit too much to drink. So, for my inside, I just went ahead again and took some. Christmas paper and put that in the inside to cover up my stitching and I've added my um, print and cut label here for my inside sentiment. So that's it for my card so stay tuned and I'll show you the gifts that I made. <music>